In today's Urbandon video, we explore Woolman Hill Hospital in Aberdeen, which closed in early 2017 after its final services had moved. The huge premises boast power and working equipment, overlooked by architecture of the past and natural decay. Join us as we explore the property on a visit that doesn't go entirely to plan. Remember to click subscribe and press the notification bell to never miss a video. The historic Woolman Hill has nestled in Aberdeen as far back as the 1750s. It is split into three main parts that surround a central courtyard in the heart of the city. Since its closure a few years ago, the hospital has been shuttered and many cameras and alarms have been introduced. Our original route on site was to dodge the watching eyes of someone who might be looking over the security systems. Maybe we should have acknowledged the overhead light as a warning sign, but convinced by our plans, we headed in, only to find a room full of workers. Thankfully, the noise of machinery was too loud to hear us slowly shutting the door and backing up, and it didn't appear that we had been sighted either. Now our entry had to be spontaneous and random. With the nature of the structure, we didn't think we would manage it. A little later, we had made our way into the courtyard, which is overlooked by a dozen cameras. The beautiful neoclassical buildings appeared defunct and overgrown, but still retained so much character through the lacks of their tall, ornate windows and domed roofs. Despite the vehicles on one end of the site, we realised that we weren't going to have another chance at this hospital and we decided to give it our best shot. Shortly after, we had found our way into a hazardous underground tunnel that led us right into the basement of one of the three main buildings. Finally, we seem to have caught a break. We were exploring the lower levels of a huge complex with no problems, until... As the alarm screeched, we hoped to wait out the expected search on the top floor. In these situations, it's sometimes better to be sitting ducks. Looking down into the courtyard from our vantage point, we could see people moving from building to building, whom were most likely workers. As we waited out the security's walkthrough, here is some background information on the historic health facility. Although it was originally Aberdeen's Royal Infirmary at a separate location, this site was first built in the 1830s at an estimated cost of £17,000. The main building, known as the Simpson Pavilion, is one of the last remaining examples of pre-Nightingale hospital design. 
The later section we found ourselves inside was probably constructed in the 1880s and added new types of surgical blocks to the growing property. Meanwhile, we think the coast is clear to begin our exploration, knowing now to be much more wary of hidden motion sensors. Our first impressions are that the hospital is very strict. We think that maybe we are too late to see some disused equipment or furniture of any kind. However, the architecture and signage is that of a classic structure of this nature, if not better. For three years of abandonment, there are high levels of decay in the empty spaces. This is due to the large windows and water that has managed to seep through the roof. We aren't speaking much currently because of our tentative approach to this explore, which includes checking every angle for sensors. This building houses the audiology, ear, nose and throat departments which were the last services to leave the site, meaning that this building was the last to become disused. Look at that hanging clock. It's proper old school. Yeah. Surprisingly the hospital has been closing down since 1999 after the NHS were given permission to shut it. By the following year no more beds remained at the hospital. Other departments and buildings would leave in the upcoming years with physiotherapy and osteoporosis moving out in 2012. Looks like they're stripping it out. There's a toilet around the corner. There's these hand sanitizers on every door. Yeah. Obviously big on hygiene. <laughs> There's some cool stuff in here. Something to do with the ears. There's even little... What are they? Post-it things? Sticky notes? In the shape of an ear? We believe this room was a consultant's office for ear-related issues, with the floor being the department for that region of the body. It's flickering. An impressive staircase featuring arched windows of different sizes lay central in the hospital. As the sensor we had disrupted was based on the staircase corner, each time we moved down the floor we were increasingly cautious and half expected to set another off. This is a chair for audiology tests and not to be confused with a dental chair. Hardly any deterioration had took place on the seat itself so our only guess on why it hadn't been removed was that it's outdated. Amazingly the power functions across the hospital in most rooms and corridors. This could be temporary and a result of the ongoing work but it was still strange to see, especially in parts that were more damaged. Soon we found another audiology chair that boasted a feature that the other didn't. Very strange that these are left when almost everything else is stripped out. That just worked. I accidentally stepped on it, I'm pretty sure it just worked. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh my 
Okay. Ready? I'm not ready. What the fuck? <laughs> no. What? <laughs> what the fuck? That's, that's crazy. That's <laughs> Finding some equipment that still worked how it should do intrigued us to continue downwards through the hospital where we hope to make more discoveries. Ventilation fan operates only when the light is switched on. Oh, it's magnetic. Medical research and examination chamber. Maybe for some form of experiment. See the controls on it there. In fact, through there was a cafe. Maybe this was a kitchen? I don't know. They have their uh, teapots and some plates over here. Small wards, some form of operating light. I wonder if it works. No. Security guard and a worker. Or it, might, it might be two workers. Let me chat. Oh This bit right here is where we set the alarm off. So it's to the right, did you say? Dark down because everything's boarded up. You can hear the power. I oh, know that's the vending machine, isn't it? We did try getting a drink from the powered vending machine, but there was no effect. Seeing it lit up in the dark corridor was an eerie scene, especially with the ambient buzzing it was making. Our reflection on the fact that we were able to manoeuvre past the sensors in roughly the same positions that we had set them off earlier is that the security thought it was a worker who had accidentally set off an alarm, as they were also in another part of the building. To stop this from happening again, he had turned them all off, meaning we really had little to worry about. The clock's working here. The last part of this hospital building we were yet to do was the x-ray department. I've never seen an X-ray machine before. How many cords it would take? There's like four or five cords there, all combined together. These are weird lights for an X-ray. It's like these were the old lights and then they made this room into this. Because it just doesn't look right. Behind a radiation barrier, the control panels still remained, where the operator would run the scan. Hands up, maybe a child, skinny, medium and large. It's maybe to do with like the radiation. Maybe. Like how much you use. Yeah. Because like, depending on who it is, it could be, could be like dangerous. Yeah, I guess, I, I guess. guess. This isn't a complete x-ray machine, but just the generator and the track it could move across. The detector where the person lies down had been removed and might still be in use today. Seems like 
in our patients. These are little waiting rooms, maybe while they got your x-ray results. There's the van of the uh, workers just past this board outside. Uh, they're generating something, probably the power for their machinery to do the job. We were closer to the security than we ever imagined, but were still undetected. Although we hadn't seen some of the impressive architecture of the domed building or the empty wards in the building across, we figured it was best to leave before anything went wrong. Woolman Hill Hospital is one of those vacant structures that has a very small window of abandonment and its window is almost finished. Plans have been approved and are at their beginning to transform the derelict site into a grand £10 million hotel with leisure facilities. Some of the features of the 52 bedroomed ambitions for the property are a cinema, bar, restaurant and jazz club. Hopefully one day we can visit the site when it is in full flow again in the near future. Here are some of our photographs of the abandoned hospital. If you like the look of them, feel free to check out our Instagram page below where we post images from our explorers months before they are seen on YouTube. Thanks for watching our latest video. Also, thanks for the support on the channel recently. We have just reached 18,000 subscribers. See you next time.